hello guys and welcome back so in the last video we managed to successfully log in the user to firebase and then also save their data to cloud firestore right now we have a logged in user inside firestore we can start now we can continue with our application now so the first thing that we want to do let's display that user image if he's got an image in firestore here so for this let's head over to our home screen and then in our home screen here we have this uh, padding and then we are showing this circular progress avatar okay i mean the circle avatar not the progress avatar okay so this image here we can put it uh, uh, here so first we want to check inside the authentication screen yeah uh, if uh, we have the image and then if we don't have we if we have it we will put this if we do not have we will we will put the image that we have so here we can check inside our auth provider so up here let's go final auth provider this will be equals to context.watch. We want to watch what's happening inside the auth provider. Let's import that. And then here now, before we show this, we just need to have a check. Okay. So first, let's check if auth provider dot the user model. So first, we don't want to check the user model. What we want to check is only the image okay auth provider dot user model and then dot image okay this one not that dot the uh, image this if this image is equals to empty string then there is no image so we need to remove the constant keyword here so if this image is equals to empty let's have a now check uh, we need to put the now check here okay so if this is image is empty then there is no image then we will show what we are showing here like that so let's bring that there we will show that and then in the else we are going to show the uh, network image and then we are going to get auth provider user model dot image okay that's what we're going to that's what we're going to get so this one is a constant let's add the constant keyword here and then also here let's have the constant keyword now let's hot restart so you can see that it's loading here all right it has taken us back to the home screen the login screen uh why because uh, here in the middle that the landing screen the initial route is the login screen now maybe we log in again but this time you're going to see that it's not going to take us to the authentication screen it's going to take us to the home screen because our data is already in firebase and then also we i now realize that we did not create a method to log out maybe now that's when uh, we should create the auth state listener in this video but before that first let's go ahead and uh, log in again let's press that then let's do our otp yeah you can see that it has taken us direct to the home screen because the data is already there in our first so now you can see that we are showing an image because here let's come back to the home screen we have checked that the image is there we are showing this so this also let's make this as a widget so that we can reuse it elsewhere so let's put a comma there and also there so to make this as a, as a widget because what we want also we want to be clicking on our image and then we go to our profile and inside our profile that's when we, where we are going to put the logout button okay 
So what we can do is uh, let's copy this child of this padding. Here, we can copy all of these. Let's cut that. And then maybe let's go inside the global methods here. Then let's create a widget. So let's do that and then remove everything that we don't need here. Here, maybe after this method, let's maybe below this show snack bar, let's create a widget. So this one will be a widget. This will be our user image widget. Okay. So you can see that it's got the copilot already has an idea. So let's go what it's saying. This is a user image widget. So what we can do is, uh, yeah, we are going to need to pass this user image. So this one, let's pass it as image URL this time. And then we are going to pass the radius. And then let's also pass one more thing required. This will be the function, the on tap function. Okay. We're going to pass the on tap function. And then here, instead of this, what we want to do is uh, we are going to check here. Here, we are going to remove everything and paste what we had, something like that, okay? So here, let's remove one. So here, we are simply checking now. Oh, I think Copilot was doing it better because it just had one of these and then it was checking on the background here. Let's see if that will work. So let's go back, Control Z. You can see that it's checking on the background here. So what we are going to check here is uh, why do we have having an error? Okay. So here it's an image URL. Okay. So if image URL dot is empty, we are going to dot is not empty. We are going to show that network image. So the things that we saved there. So first of all, let's paste those here. And then we want to show this network image. Let's copy that. And then paste it here. And then instead of all of these, here we will show the image URL, okay? And then let's remove the comma. And then here we are going to show this same one. So let's uh, delete now this. And then let's import that. And then let's see if uh, this will work. So the other thing that we didn't do is the on pressed. So to add th this on top, we can wrap this with a, either a gesture detector or inquire. So let's wrap this. This let's let me use the gesture detector, and then on top, I'm going to call our this on top. Okay, like that. So we can put this as a void function. So up here we can do can put these brackets like that and then it's a function like that so now we're going to get this user image widget and then go back to the home screen and then call it here user image widget okay we need to put uh, the last bracket here like that and then the image url we know we're going to get it from auth provider dot uh, user model with a now check dot uh, image and then the radius we are going to put 20 and then the on top here we are going to navigate to our profile screen so let's say navigate to user profile okay copy it knows what we want let's just put commas there and commas and then now before we hot restart because we know if we hot restart is going to take us uh, back to the login screen okay let's just do it and then from there we will now create the auth state listener okay so this video was just uh, about putting this image here so let's go ahead and hot restart so we've hot rest we did the hot restart it has taken us back to the login screen now let's uh, fix this
because the application needs to know that we are already authenticated when it start it should check if we are logged in and then if we are logged in we should directly go to the home screen if we are not logged in that's when we should go to we should come to this login screen so let's do that in the next video